<laughs> so in a way, they, I mean, if, but also, uh, but also some uh, shop owners uh, resist to the part uh, to the powerful presence of the police. So, for example, uh, when uh, the riot police make uh, a march uh, into the square of Exarchia, uh, the people from a uh, kiosk, eh? kiosk. Kiosk, uh, they go out and they say, why you are here? We don't want you here. What is the why, why, why is your problem? And also the other business owners and restaurant owners, if they ever try to extend their ownership beyond their doors to the street or the walls outside, for example, trying to get people not to hang around without paying for things, not to put up posters, then they'll get a talking to, and if the talking to doesn't work, then maybe they'll get their windows smashed. So the business owners of the area have been well trained to know uh, that their authority extends so far and no farther, and that they uh, that, that it's not their neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. It goes it goes like um, an educating the process for for them. It goes like a, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, really, you know, because they tried like in the early nineties, they tried um, to make a serious rejuvenation. How do you call it? Rejuvenation, yeah, like gentrification. Gentrification. Right? gentrification. You know, they tried very serious things, and they appeared like luxury bars and like. Um, Caf nice cafes for like uh, trendy people and hipster places, you know, these kind of things. That um, yeah, the group of the the groups of the anarchists they, they pass from these places for like first week, smash all the places, uh, like with uh, with this, like with the sticks, uh, like the vitrines, taking all the all the chairs and everything, but you know, throw them on the streets, okay? And they say that um, this it is not belong to the commercial to the commercialization. Like the, you, you are not allowed to commercialize the square, the end of the square. Okay. That means to con not commercialize it. That means that uh, they will not uh, still uh, have uh, clean uh, vitrines, you know, or uh, to have a luxury uh, door for the shop. But uh, outside of the shop, there will be. Uh, this is a wall for posters. To make to stick posters. To Secondly, make the that means that everyone that comes inside uh, this uh, bar can uh, stay there without uh, drinking an if alcohol, he wants. if he wants. It is not an obligation for someone to drink something. Yes, and, and it is also like the owner of the bar, she will not, or the taverna or whatever, she will not feel like that uh, because she has his business there, his business is the most important thing in the planet and she's going to control all the atmosphere of the place, you know? I mean that the people are going to control the atmosphere of the place. It is like to change the mentality, like a, like the, the bar woman, they have to be gentle somehow, the people that they work, no securities, no fat uh, yes. people making like uh, the macho problem you know, and control the area, like securities and all these kind of things, nothing like that. In the beginning, they didn't believe it, and then the, uh, the anarchists, they passed again and they burned the place, like uh, throwing a lot of things inside the places with people inside, it was very dangerous. Okay. Like, nobody get, got hurt really, you know, but uh, from that time, then all the owners, they started to realize that the uh, exarchy is very nice, everything very good, all the people very nice, you know. Very happy, everybody wants each other. <laughs> good behavior and everybody very good. So slowly, slowly, you know, after the end of the 90s, now many, many places from this area were controlled by the anarchists. I mean, they, the anarchists, they took over. Many, like, old anarchists, like 50, 40 years old, you know, they, 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 they took the places. Like, they, they, they run the business now. And it's like collectives, groups of people. I mean, it's not like a social center, it's like a normal bar, like this bar that we are here now. But you know that 100% of the people that they work, they don't work for the police. You know? It is and like a 100% trustful place. And you are sure that if there is a problem, they will have open the doors and they will have the people. Yes. To hide the people. To hide protect people, to protect you, and all this. So, we say that there are restaurants and uh, bars that, they, that they are controlled by anarchists. There are restaurants and bars that are controlled by commercial people, but that, that it is educated. Okay? Uh, there are existing uh, many, uh, there are existing some squads around, very important squads. Existing the Polytechnic University, that whatever happens, you know, they do the gathering in the, in the Polytechnic University. Huge building. That also, they also try the building every weekend to make, uh, to make free festivals and parties and concerts, DIY concerts. From, from all the underground cultures, okay? <coughs> so thousands of people, they come in the square, especially Friday and Saturday, okay? And during the week, but many people, they come from all around Athens, they gather there. So in a way, you distribute propaganda flyers, or you put posters, and you put the other networks of Athens, 
whatever news or whatever new analysis or whatever new understanding, go back to the neighborhoods with this uh, knowledge, you know. It's no need like to, to go and run to find all the people all around the neighborhood, because the people anyway, they gather in this area. And in a way, also for the trendy people, it is like the alternative area, you know, it's like the different area. Because we have another entertainment zone, but it is like for com commercial, trendy, high <coughs> risk, uh, very easy, 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 easy place. But um, they go also the, the music event, and we go also there and the people back up the table. So something like this about the excitement. The other question was about the smashes. Eh? About, you said, uh, just, uh, if I understood well, but uh, how, is the, how is it possible that people that rely anyway on banks and shops and commercial shops and that they, that they accept the elimination of it? Uh, this most massive that the Yeah. Um, um, you know, the people, they hate the, the shops and they hate the banks. I mean, they hate the big uh, commercial uh, shops, as for example, Zara, you have here also, okay? As, uh, eh? Nike. You have Zara Nike. here, I saw. Nike, yes, uh, as... Uh, the big corporations. The big corporations, you know? And, uh, oh, Eggland takes this, because they understand uh, that they are not uh, simply uh, people, that they want uh, to have this uh, as their uh, job, uh, you know. Uh, and also everyone hates the banks, uh, because everyone has to pay their own uh, loans, and everyone uh, owes money, and everyone uh, oh, owns money, money the bank. the bank. In a way, it owns the life of the bank. So the bank is not something... Uh, Good. Okay. <laughs> so it's not something that the people will know. So when a bank is burned, it is not a distraction of uh, their white life, but it's a distraction of a symbol of capitalism. One of the uh, one of the interviews was with the uh, was with the mother of a longtime anarchist. And we asked her opinion about the riots, and she said, "Oh, it's very bad. It's very bad. All that violence is very bad." And uh, and we did things much more peacefully in the '60s, to which we kind of questioned. Well, that's not really true. It wasn't that that peaceful. Uh, the old movements in the '60s, and she said, "Oh, well, we were just attacking the the police and the banks. You know, that's okay. But uh, but you shouldn't attack these small shops because during December there was a lot of media propaganda saying they're burning all of the small shops, and so so the the." That that was something that you know had had a lot less popularity. The idea, most of which wasn't even very true, that small shops were getting smashed. And even there was an interview with uh, with the owner of a luxury shop, and it wasn't a chain, it wasn't a major corporation, but it was in in uh, one of the most luxurious areas of Athens. And and she was complaining about how the uh, the anarchists didn't go to the suburbs of Athens to smash like the big commercial super centers. That they that they only smashed the bougie shops in the center. Um, so, so, so at, at, at that level there was controversy, but in terms of the banks that had that had overwhelming yeah, popular understand. support. Even the normal, uh, I mean, the, even the right wing people, you know, yeah. they appreciated the the smash of the banks, and also uh, the and also the the, um, the people in the countryside also that they didn't have any experience like this, you know, of any smashing in the cities or small towns and all this. When the young children, uh, the, because the, the young children, they get very angry, you know. And you know, the young children now, and also, I mean, our generation also, that I am 36, okay. I, my people also, from my generation, we don't believe that we have any hope. I mean, that we have any possibility to have a life. Don't, there are no expectations anyway, anymore. And there are no, how to say this, illusionary expectations that, uh, okay, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna work as much as possible, but anyway, I'm gonna have some good house, my children are gonna go to the university, and uh, I'm gonna have three children, and they're gonna, uh, they're gonna be happy in their life, and this life is gonna be good. I'm 37 years old, and I can say to you that I cannot make children. And uh, like uh, many people of my generation in Greece, they cannot make children because they don't have the money to make children. They don't have money to rent the house. So in this way, all this generation doesn't have any more expectation for reward. How you say? I mean, it's, it's what, like that. Uh, that you're gonna do this, and they're gonna give you a present, a, a fine. Reward. 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 Yes.
that this fairy tale of reward is finished for us. So all these people, they, they participated in the classes of the banks, and it was like integrated this feeling inside the world of society, because there is an expectation of reward. So what to expect from the luxury shop? What from the bank? What to expect anyway, you know, from the government? Maybe from the state, maybe some people, they still have some expectation from the social health, you know, public health, public education, to publish, to make as more possible free things from the government. And uh, if uh, the society doesn't uh, understand uh, that uh, they don't have the time to, uh, to wait uh, for a reward, uh, then uh, we may want to understand uh, with uh, our try to communicate and explain to them uh, that uh, all these dreams that they had uh, in their uh, 30s and in their 20s, they cannot become uh, real. That uh, the state uh, that uh, but the state makes a joke to them. Yes. It's a joke. Like and it's like we a, try it's to communicate this to the society so as to understand uh, when uh, our anger comes out to smash to smash. To smash. So uh, the society has to understand uh, why all this uh, smashing uh, and uh, looting uh, is uh, happening. And the society understands uh, when uh, you try to communicate with, uh, your meaning and your visions and your problems with, uh, with it. And uh, to communicate this problem, one thing is that a big, a huge counter information, a huge counter informa information that based on face-to-face, face-to-face uh, -face dialogue, face-to-face -face, uh, spread of leaflets and communics uh, and um, of counter information uh, to put up uh, posters in the walls that is very easy in Greece. But uh, I mean, even even to places like here that it's not uh, easy to stick posters, you know. <coughs> I mean, it is the communics, the flyers, because you know most of these people that you see here participating in the riots, in their uh, in life, they make analysis of some problems, they make uh, their own typography, offset typography, big, many many thousands of communics, and they go around in the squares, in the neighborhood, to their works. To, to their factories or wherever they work, you know, like to and to universities, and they spread their own opinion, their own analysis. That this it helps the people to understand why when it happens, the smashing it takes place, the smashing, you know. I mean, the smashing it is just the end of a long, long, long political uh, work that many people they have, they do, you know. It, they don't separate themselves like they, there are different people, the smashers, different uh, people, the political people. All the political work, everybody has to do. I mean, you cannot say yourself anarchist because you've been two times in your life in a demonstration and you throw one stone, you know. I mean, this you do also, you know, or because you've been to some concert, you know, and you've drunk some beers. Okay. I mean, this you do also. But the, the work, it is that each one of us, I mean, you and me and everybody, and I mean, most of the Greek anarchists in a way, we have to be, to take care personally, what is our opinion? And how we're gonna express it? And how we're gonna in, in influence? You know, how how we're gonna build our influence? I mean, or or we like all these people here. We are not like uh, spectators of our own movement. We are the creators of our own movement with our own practices and with our initiatives and with our work. Each one of us it has to be like a focalizer, a, a, a focalizer like an organizer. Like it has to be like a, an amateur intellectual. To have the ability to speak to the people, to agitate, to make propaganda, to write posters, to write flyers, to make blogs, like everything, all these things. Yes. And then we meet at the bank. Yes. And this that he uh, yes. says uh, is, uh, and to say, is uh, like uh, each uh, one of us uh, is nice to be a revolutionary commitment, to have uh, a devotion. Uh, to a primary, to the primary cause that make that made uh, their or him to be a revolutionary being. That, does that make sense?